Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa and this is your 12 p.m. wrap. Top Communist Party of the Philippines leaders Joma Sison and couple Benito and Wilma Chamson reunite in Oslo, Norway after 30 years. Sison got asylum in the Netherlands after he was freed by Cory Aquino following the 1986 People Power Revolt. The Chamsons are in Oslo as consultants of the peace talks between the National Democratic Front and the Philippine government. At least 20 political prisoners are expected to join the formal opening Monday. Aside from the Chamsons, the political prisoners on temporary freedom covered by the Joint Agreement on Safety and Immunity Guarantees, or JASIG, are Loida Magpatok, tagged as the head of the Far South Mindanao Committee of the CPP-NPA, Reynante Gamara, alleged secretary of the CPP's Metro Manila Regional Party Committee, Tirso Alcantara, former spokesman for the NDF Southern Tagalog Region, Adelberto Silva, alleged secretary general of the CPP-NPA after Wilma Chamson was arrested in 2014, Concha Araneta Bocala, alleged leader of CPP's Panay Island Regional Party Committee, Alan Hasminez, former professor at the Asian Institute of Management and alleged member of the CPP Central Committee and Secretary General of the Party. Also going to Oslo for the talks are nine other political prisoners. <laughs> Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade will comply with President Rodrigo Duterte's order to remove presidential appointees from office once Duterte issues a formal directive. Early Sunday, Duterte said appointees in all government agencies should leave their posts, saying corruption is still widespread. Transportation spokesperson Cherry Mercado told Rappler once a formal directive is issued, compliance is guaranteed. Duterte named the Land Transportation Office and Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board as agencies where corruption is still widespread. The LTO and LTFRB are attached agencies of the Department of Transportation. Cabinet officials are exempt from Duterte's directive. LTO Chairman Edgar Galvante told media he will comply with Duterte's order. <laughs> Donald Trump once vowed to build a giant wall on Mexico's border. Now he's making a sharp reversal as he reaches out to minorities alienated by his rhetoric. Trump met with Hispanic supporters and said he's crafting an immigration plan that would include finding a way to legalize millions of undocumented immigrants. Reports from people who attended the meeting say Trump acknowledged, quote, that there's a big problem with the 11 million people and that deporting them is neither possible nor humane. The billionaire candidate slid in polls after last month's Republican convention. That's your 12 p.m. wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again at 6 p.m. for the day's top news.